Hey, welcome in folks. And in this video, we're talking about everything you need to know about Farming Simulator 22. That's right, the most recent iteration of Farming Simulator is set to release. And today we've got everything you need to know about it. Much like previous versions of the series, there's a lot of things that are still the same, but there's also more than a few things here that are new and fresh. The formula hasn't changed, but we still have a ton of new ingredients to add. You're still gonna be out there cultivating, sowing, and harvesting your fields. However, there are more than a few extra additions added in that do change the way you do farm. Arguably the biggest new feature in the series is, well, seasonal cycles. This fully customizable feature will force you to strategize your farm on a level never before seen in the series. The all new crop calendar will give you a specific window each year when you can plant and harvest, as well as a market price fluctuation throughout the year that will make you plan out the best time to sell. Speaking of selling our products, that brings us to the next great feature for Farming Simulator 22, which is production chains. This new feature, which is baked into Farming Simulator, will give you more options than ever to sell the products you produce and harvest. In Farming Simulator 22, you can run your own business that complement your farm and will once again add a whole other level of strategy. You can still take your harvested crops to the local co-op as before to be sold directly, but now you can also choose to buy the local grain mill and have your wheat and barley turn into flour. And hey, from there, why not purchase the local bakery and take your flour and have that made into bread? Of course, all these new products will sell for a much higher price than you'd get from your standard crop, but this is just another option to add to the strategy of Farming Simulator. And as for crops, this time around, you will find there are 16 different crops. You've got your wheat, barley, canola, sunflower, corn, oat, soybeans, oilseed, radish, potatoes, sugar beets, popular sugar cane, cotton, and we've got three new additions. We got sorghum, we got olives, and we got grapes this time around. And of course, managing all these new crops will be done with over 400 pieces of equipment that come in Farming Simulator 22 that really do cross the range of all different types of farming. Some specialized equipment and others that are simply massive that are able it'll take on almost any task. In Farming Sim 19, we had the first chance to see two major farming brands in the series with John Deere and Kloss finally both being officially added into the series. It's tough to compete with those two. However, in Farming Simulator 22, we now get to see Mack trucks as well as the massive versatile tractors. To go along with those upgrades, we have an all new authentic way of controlling the all new amazing equipment with manual transmissions finally added in base game. Now we know that manual transmission is not something that sounds revolutionary. However, with all the different transmission styles and variations there are in the ag agriculture world, this is something that does present an interesting challenge. For those that are taking full advantage of using a wheel and maybe a shifter, for Farming Simulator, this will be certainly uh, a welcome change. Now, moving on towards our graphic and sound improvements, both have been redesigned for Farming Simulator 22 with Giants Engine 9. Several new graphical enhancements have been made and Farm Sim 22 does look better than ever. Also included at launch is the inclusion of NVIDIA's DLSS and DLLA, which will allow you to watch your farming glory at the highest resolution and couple that with the highest frame rates possible. Uh, to couple that with all new ground textures and ground features really bring the look of your farms together. Now, speaking of watching your farms, the all new AI system has been updated. So your workers, they've been updated for the first time in Farming Simulator. You can tell your contracted workers to drive across the map and deliver products, unload silos, and of, of course, they still take care of many of the different types of field work. This new technology is still in its infancy and will be improved over time. However, it's much needed step forward that all fans of the series have made requests to be implemented. We have three maps that are going to be included with Farming Simulator 22. They span a variety of farming areas. Erlengrad is a mountainous European map that is reimagined from the Farming Simulator 19 Alpine DLC. We'll have you working hillside fields along the picturesque Alps. Ophelion is a Southern French, France inspired map that will be perfect for planting and working the all new olives and grape crop types. And lastly, the North American Midwest map, Elm Creek will satisfy those looking for the larger open field aspect of farming that will demand some of the largest equipment the game has to offer. Now, of course, there are still a couple of features that go largely unchanged. Animal husbandry, for example, makes a return once again to the series where you can focus your attention on cattle, sheep, chicken, horses, and pigs. Of course, we can't forget the farm pups either, but while this is largely the same as in last versions, we do have some different breeds of animals and some of the products the animals produce are now taken advantage of with the all new production chain system. Of course, forestry is back once again as well. 
And really the big change here is the new sound engine, which really takes advantage of some of the new forestry stuff that happens. As for more new features to Farming Simulator 22, there are plenty of new and returning features to talk about. The build mode from Farming Simulator 19 is back and better than ever with new placeable objects and an amazing drag and drop fence system. We once again have access to greenhouses and used vehicle markets as well. New features like the bee houses and ground working features like stone picking and mulching will keep you busy throughout the year. Of course, we do need to mention that crossplay is now available in Farming Simulator, which will mean that well, all console players and PC players will be able to play together for the first time, as well as allowing console players to rent and use servers to host their games for the first time ever in Farming Simulator. Of course, don't forget, you can get your G Portal premium server using the link in the description. That'll give you 5% off your server. So with all of this, Farming Simulator 22 looks to be a promising new entry to the series that once again will just be made better with the support for modders, who will of course be helping improve and lengthen the lifespan of the game. Of course, if you still have not purchased the game yourself, be sure to go down in the description below. You can find links there where you can purchase Farming Simulator 22 right now as well. Get the one year pass, which includes the four DLCs that are planned over the next year. So with all that being said, I think it's time to get back to farming. I hope you guys enjoyed this overview. Be sure to slap the like, get subscribed to the channel and come back, catch us during one of our live streams or Let's Plays as we push this new farm sim to the limit of what it can do. Have a fantastic day, folks, and I'll catch you in the next one. This is Clutch, over and out.